Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Monday, the 12th of November. Bruno Mars was a huge success, and there's more music to come. The Eagles, Guns N' Roses, and Cardi B will be next. And for sport fans, the L.A. Rams in a preseason game. So what does it take to keep Aloha Stadium facility running? Sarah Madison follows up. Sarah? Joe, Aloha Stadium is over 40 years old, and officials like Senator Glenn Wakai support tearing it down for a smaller, multi-purpose facility that can provide more opportunities. Senator Glenn Wakai tells us that Aloha Stadium in its current state is safe, but it's costing millions each year to maintain the structural integrity. Aloha Stadium officials ask for $20 million a year for the upkeep. But Senator Wakai says legislators give the bare minimum of about seven to eight million dollars. The plan back in April 2017 was to build a new facility in a U shape that seats 30 to 35,000 people, expandable to 40,000 with temporary seating. And officials have said it will be less expensive than maintaining the existing facility. We ultimately need to tear down Aloha Stadium, build a multi-purpose facility that can do more than just play football games. We need to have a facility that can play rugby, can play soccer, drone racing, just a multitude of different opportunities which uh, we can't do at the stadium itself at the moment. There's potential that the new stadium could attract more major events, which are needed. Wakai says partnerships like a preseason deal with one of the best teams in the NFL are great for Hawaii's tourism and for the stadium. This is going to be the biggest payday for Aloha Stadium next year. Um, they're going back to the Pro Bowl. That really was a deal that benefited the NFL. Mm -hmm. But this Rams partnership is truly a partnership. Aloha Stadium will make uh, concession sales. They'll make parking sales, money off ticket sales. <laughs> the NFL scooped all of that for the state of Hawaii. And in addition, asked for $5.9 million.